after we looked at the properties of the touch sensor and that we can press release and boom the sensor and that we can control different motors now uh, i would like to enter into the probably one of the most basic concepts in the field of robotics and uh, i'll first set the pro the problem then we'll do the program and then we we will think about why is it happening like this so uh, actually the problem is the following we would like to program the robot to move when i touch start when i touch again stop that's the goal of our current program let's look at the program we would like to program the robot to do the following thing first we wait until we press the sensor attached to port one then we start moving the robot not with the steering i would like to move it with the tank block i would like to move the robot with the tank block so i wait until we press the touch sensor then we start moving the robot but we move this for undefined amount of time so it's just on and we move then we wait again until we press the sensor again so it's touch sensor where it is touch sensor state and the state is one so this is how the program should work first we press then we start we move 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 then when we press again the robot should stop and here i'll add a stop button stop uh, block for i'll have to zoom out a little i'll add a stop block here and that's the program let's see how the program works downloading the program download we wait until the sensor is pressed and we go forward nothing happens let's download the program again so what is happening here is that the program is not behaving as we would expect something is happening here and that something is understanding this is crucial for you to continue from here to know why the program doesn't work and what happens in the program again nothing happens so the robot is not moving forward let's take a look back at the robot at the program what is actually happening here is the following we wait until the sensor is pressed we start the motors and then we wait until the sensor is pressed again and then we stop but while we are pressing the sensor and we enter into this block we detect that the sensor is pressed we start the motor and before we lift our finger from the sensor the next weight block detects that the sensor is again pressed because it the program the the brick is is so fast that this happens in in milliseconds so we start the motor only for a number of milliseconds and we haven't removed our finger from the sensor so it stays stopped again what happens we press and we start the motors but before we lift our finger from the sensor the next block detects that we have pressed the sensor and stops the motors so how do we fix this there are a number of solutions the easier solution is the following to wait for let's say one second so we press we wait for one second so that we can lift our finger from the sensor then we start the motors then we wait again until we press the sensor and then we stop let's check the program start the program is running i will now press the sensor wait for a second the robot moves and when we and when it reaches my hand it stops let's start the program again touch the sensor wait for a second move 
stop. So it's working as expected. Can we fix this in another way so that we don't have to wait for a second? Now that's waiting for a second. We are losing one second here. We don't have to wait for a second. Let's see a solution. What if we don't wait for about a second? How can we implement this? We delete the block. And what we would like to do is to wait for the touch sensor to move from pressed to released. And we add another block. We wait until the touch sensor is in the state released. Released. Let's see the program now. First, we wait until the touch sensor is pressed. Then we wait until the touch sensor is released. The moment we release the touch sensor, we start the motor. So there is no delay for a second. Then we move with the motor until we press the sensor again. And then we stop both motors. Let's check the program. Download, run. This here is the robot. Now I press, then we wait for releasing the sensor. The robot moves forward until we press again. This is how the robot should be working and this was the goal of our video. To program this sensor so that we can press, release, move, then press, release, it stops. I know that this behavior might be a little strange, uh, but it's uh, perfectly logical. So if you have any questions or uh, suggestions for how we can explain it even clearly, uh, leave a comment below and we'll try to do it. In the next video, we'll enter um, in more details for the touch sensor and uh, then we use the knowledge of the touch sensor to introduce the other sensors in the EV3 set.